Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here in Switzerland at Amag Skoda in Solo Turn. If you want to check them out, I will leave the link in the description. Also, I have with me the new Skoda Octavia RS. Uh, this beast, this little beast right here, I will review it today for you. I will show you the interior, exterior. Uh, I will give you all the detail uh, possible about this car. Stay with me until the end of the video and you will find out everything. Also, if you're new on my channel, click the subscribe button if you want to see the newest update on my channel. And also, if you like the music, the link is in the description. Until then, let's do the review, guys. All right, guys, as always, I will start with the key of the car. You can see this is the new key. Also, it will come with the all new Skoda cars from 2020, 2021 and uh, forward. It's a super nice light key and also with glossy uh, black plastic. By the way, you can also hold the trunk button and the car come with automatic lift gate on the trunk also if you hold it again it will close up again so that's super nice also you will have the keyless entrance in the car uh, i will show you in the moment also uh, i will just lock the car you can see that the car come also with folding mirrors but if you come closer here yeah let me show you that guys and if you put your hand right here the car will unlock for you and you can see also the electric uh, mirrors are right there and also you can lock the car only by pressing the finger right here so that's a cool feature that i want to show you in the beginning uh, but until then guys i want to turn on the lights also the car come with this new uh, light system here we have buttons this time you can see it also on the dashboard right there it's not more like before when you have to turn this wheel right now is the new system also we take it from uh, Woody for example there the system was first time implemented let's make a round uh, around the car a little bit and you can see the shapes of the car I think the car looks super nice and super sportier by the way I want to point out something guys this car right here have the 18 inch rims usually it comes with the 19 inch rims but those are the winter tires just change now and they add 18 inch rims but also i have to say something i drive the car with those 18 inch rims if you want to see the test drive check it out on my channel and the car it's super comfortable and it's doing a great job also with the 18 inch rims and it also look good in my opinion with those rims but i think the 19s they are much more sportier and the car it's a beast if you want to see the test drive check it out on my channel uh beautiful shapes in the front it's very similar with uh, superb skoda superb but check this out on the side it's super beautiful those lines those shapes look fantastic i like very much the lines that they use it looks a little bit like arteon in the front part right there it looks like a volkswagen arteon i like this line very much i think it takes it from there the lines of the car and even in the back guys if you look in the back around here it looks so nice this beautiful design and also the, the windows check this out it looks in a big way in my opinion really really beautiful i like very much this new trend with glossy black plastic around the the edges of the windows i think it makes a lot of sense tinted windows in the back kind of not so much but just a little bit just perfect the way it is also i like even this um attachment for the roof for the extra roof it's in black glossy plastic and it looks really nice even the radio antenna it's in black uh plastic and it looks so nice i mean this combination black with this red 
it's one of my favorite i will take it for my car as well and check this out guys even in the back here the skoda it's writing with this glossy black plastic octavia down here the same and on the other side we have the rs logo so check this out it's super super beautiful also the car come with a reverse camera and also here uh, the car have uh, led lights to the number plate so that's again super cool and latest technology the roof spoiler of course as you can see right here glossy plastic again and uh, even up here it comes it continuing really well with the roof uh, brake light right here up and the shape of the car the lines those lines that come right here uh, in the back it looks so nice on the right side you have right here the tank the petrol tank it's on the right side just keep in mind but other than that the lines of the car the shape they are super sporty super nice i like it i like very much the way it looks now going a little bit down here is the tail light so you have led light we have full led light here even on the reverse light and even on the turning signals that i will turn it on right now let me turn on the blinkers for you guys they are right here in the middle so you can see that even the turning signals they are following light and they look in a big way they look in a big way in my opinion they are super beautiful let me go closer you can see a little bit better how nice how nice it is super nice in terms of light they are they are amazing they start to make such a nice uh, light um, here is the mirror also it comes with blind spot technology this time the blind spot technology is inside on on here like the Audi have before and also the the mirrors are in black with this nice line beautiful design sporty design LED light on the turning signals as well here um, down here you have an LED light to illuminate the floor in the night it looks also nice and the shape of the mirror is super aerodynamic and very interesting also the car come with the camera up there for lane assist also reading the traffic speed limit and also uh, the sensors for the light and for the rain now going in the front guys i think in the back um, going in the front here look at the hood the hood have also some extra lines so you can see one line here another one here in the middle two lines also this hood make the car look much more sportier and I like very much those the way they add those lines it's it's really spectacular um, here we have the turning signals and also when you turn it off you will see the daylight I will show you also in a moment it comes with the latest technology full LED light uh, and ad adaptive high beam um, in terms of high beam low beam the lights on the car are phenomenal you have the Skoda logo right there in the middle and then you have this uh, grill in the front again the same in glossy black plastic and i think it looks very nice and it fits very well with this color you have the rs logo here on the right side and here in the middle you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features also air intakes here to cool down the engine then down here glossy plastic on the bumper also another air intakes right here uh, and i like the way they add this glossy black plastic down here I think it makes a lot of sense make the car look much better then here you have even here on the fog lamps you have LED light then you have parking six parking sensors the first one is here six parking sensors in the front that's really helpful uh, and also this air intake here you can see it has an air intakes on the side that help the aerodynamic of the car the air go around the car that help a lot the, the handlings at the high speed and also the aerodynamic and also the consumption of course so pretty nice beautiful bumper beautiful lines kind of um, classic and uh, yeah standard for for i like the fact that they design it in the skoda way even here in the back you can see those uh, lines and those design it's, it's unique that I like that it's really unique six parking sensors in the back as well 
you have some elements, glossy plastic element here to make the car sportier, some lines, beautiful sh sharp edges line, I think they take it from Audi, they use a lot of sharp edges line and that, that's nice, also a light reflector, it's all over the back here, you can see this light reflector, red, it's so useful in the night, uh, the light from other traffic participant will reflect in this uh, in this part and it will look really nice we have real exhaust pipes no fake exhaust pipes so you can see it right there inside and they look in a big way and also on the other side i think you already see the way it sounds and also glossy plastic on the down part there it's just uh, gorgeous i mean the car the design it's beautiful i don't know about you guys but I love it and we will go inside and you will see that not only the design exterior but the car it's also very very practical. Here we have 18 inch rims as I said before, ventilated brake discs, they are huge, look how big they are the brake discs and also guys they work really good, I test the car and the brake lights are awesome and I think also the car fit very well with these black glossy rims. This combination red with black uh it never go back <laughs> i think it looks super nice and also you have ventilated brake disc on the back and huge brake discs right there no wonder why the car is braking so good i like that i like the way it brakes also the handles are um nice and super simple i like it very much and also the quality it's very good let me turn off this and i want to turn on the the engine wait a second not the engine, but I want to put the contact. I want to put the contact on. Let me go inside. Okay, just like that. I want to turn on the lights. Yeah, just like that. I want to show you also the lights, guys. So let me go outside here. And you can see right now uh, the LED lights. Also, the latest technology. This is the daylight right here. Right here is the daylight daylight and here is the high bin low bin and also uh yeah it's just it looked just in a big way i think also the shape and the design of the light it fit very well with the car i don't know about you and it looks a little bit like a uh, volkswagen arteon from the front with those sharp edges and sharp lines on the hood this is my impression anyway beautiful very beautiful i like them i like them very much and you can see also there you have in the night super good visibility anyway let me turn it off and also turn off the engine from here just like that and let me let me continue the review guys i think we will go inside the car right now um and let me turn off the lights all the way i think we don't need the lights anymore you can see you press the button it's turn it off and now the lights are off going in the trunk as you see before you have automatic lift gate here is the button and we will go inside um yeah in terms of space you know skoda cars uh here is the button to, to close the the trunk and then the fact that you have a huge entrance and the fact that you have this right here you have the possibility to to adjust it very simple so you don't have to take out something you have two position you can leave it like that or you can put it all the way in as you see my other videos with uh, skoda cars especially with those estate tourer uh, version uh, you see that they are so practical they have so much space here the entrance in the car it's pretty big you can see it also from all angles right here huge entries you can carry so many things inside the car right here and also guys here you have the triangle you have an LED light right here you have some hooks for the grocery you have this possibility to fold down the seats from here I will show you in the moment also on the other side the same story uh, also you have this great button here for the hook so you press the button and you just wait the hook will come out all you have to do is just pull it just like that a little bit you want to put it back just press the button again it will go down and then you just have to push it in and then it's just super simple uh, it's great that it comes with also with that hook so you have 
the possibility to carry some uh, caravan and trailers um, also guys here you have some hooks in every corner plenty of space in the in the right side hooks hooks in every corner here huge space again pretty big spaces you're curious to see under the floor of course because here you have a flat floor that's also awesome you have some plastic here at the entrance but the fact that it's a flat entrance it's really amazing it's great that you can fold everything it's really simple uh, right here in the back under here you have another like maybe 10 centimeter uh, deepness so you can put your stuff here without any problem and under this check this out you have another huge space where is the spare tire down there and also here you can put some uh, medical kit and stuff like that it's quite quite awesome I mean in terms of practicality it's more than enough it's it's really really huge so you can see for yourself but yeah it's it's super big now check this out you want to fold it just press this button press it again it will fold all the way down if it doesn't fold just have to push it a little bit just like that and check this out it's almost a flat floor there you can also take this out uh, without any problem from here if you want to carry stuff also you can take this out from here this protection for the trunk without any problem and then you can carry uh, big items and big stuffs right here without uh, any much problem so also the glass roof I think you see it if you didn't see it the car come with this amazing glass roof that it's almost all over the roof you have such a good visibility there uh, and also you will see it in the moment that the visibility in the car it's amazing from the interior you have a huge windows here and big windows and in terms of visibility Skoda cars was were, were, were always they were always uh, between the best in terms of uh, visibility let me go inside here here guys check this out huge entrance not big it's a huge entrance that's bigger than most of the car in this class and also folding back the seats it's super simple just like that and the great part is that you have also the possibility to to fold this down just like that and you can carry long items here without any problem so like skis or whatever you want to carry uh, so from this point of view it's it's very practical so in terms of practicality this Skoda Octavia RS um, yeah I think it's, it's one of the best one of the best in class also you have powerful uh, engine you have sporty driving uh, and yeah we will make a conclusion in the end but until then let me finish with all so close the trunk and let's go inside now before I go inside as I said big window a uh, big in entrance in the car let me go to the windows and to the doors right here you have a window right here from two parts one it's fixed and one it will fall down all the way down and here you have on the doors in the back you can see it has a nice trim but up here you have plastic in the back that's something to keep in mind but the design is so nice that you don't even notice that it's plastic or soft material because you will see in the front it's soft material and it has the same trim design I don't know if you can see it on the camera but it is really really nice now down here you have a glossy plastic very beautiful then you have the handle that it's it's amazing I mean I like it very much the way they design it then you have this speaker integrated that it looks also in a big way then check this out even down here the way they design the door it's it's huge you have Alcantara down here amazing quality you have leather here and soft material you can see it when you're where, where your arm are resting so from this point of view it's awesome you have another speaker or another design here I don't think it's a speaker yes I, it's not a speaker but it looks like a speaker and it has a very interesting design I think you can see it on the camera but down here you have another speaker um, and then you have this storage space that it's quite big for the back part and also you have stuff material in the interior right here so that's very good quality so in my opinion the doors in the back design uh, I will give it a 10 and 
the quality materials also nine um, but ooh, amazing entrance huge entrance uh, now going inside you can see from here also the glass roof it's all over the roof and it's amazing it's one of my favorite i never see in an estate car until now a glass roof so big all over the roof and it looks really really good now guys um the seats are also not uh leather or stuff stuff like that but the fact that even here on the side usually most of the car here have plastic but skoda come with soft stuff material very good for comfort then you have uh, headrest adjustable nice combination red stitches with black fabric material nice design you can have two child seats here is a fix for child seat side support design of the seats it's very very nice I think you can get it also with leather seats and I think that will be maximum I think that will be amazing I mean it will be perfect car but you will be surprised to see that sometimes uh, here you have two cup holders I will show you in a moment check this out two cup holders here and the armrest also very useful uh, you will be surprised to hear that sometimes those fabric seats are are much more uh, comfortable than the leather seats and sometimes are really really good in the winter for example when you can get uh, warmer faster in those seats let me close the the doors also the doors quality it's quite good um, here you have a handle hook LED lights here super fancy the quality on the roof it's also very very good uh, I like it you have some hook here in terms of visibility on the windows guys you have a great visibility also there in the back here on the windows amazing visibility so you don't have to worry in terms of visibility outside as i said before one of the best cars um, the comfort on this seat it's also very good and you can drive here for many many kilometers and as i said sometimes those fabric material seats are better than leather so in this case this is true and i like them i like them very much i think the comfort is great and i have so much space here on my back on my head check this out i have like four five fingers up here then on my knee i have much more than enough check this out huge space as expected i you can stretch your legs under the front seat i can almost stretch it all the way uh, and it's it's amazing in terms of space it's more than perfect here in the back. Now here the car have come with also those vents. They feel pretty good as you touch it. Then you have heated seats in the back. And also you can uh, control the climatic system in the back for the passengers. So it has this free zone climatic system. Here you have some storage space, quite awesome. Um, yeah, I was expected to have also an USB-C port in the back, but I guess it has in the front a lot, so yeah. Uh, also, you have a transmission tunnel here um, in the middle and behind the front seat, you have some storage space in the both sides. And other than that, the front seats are kind of sporty seats and it's fabric material right here in the back. Now, let me go in the middle. Going in the middle, it's super simple. And here you have, you can see here, it's a little bit tighter. Here I have much more space. This is my driving position. I set the, the seat because I make the test drive. If you want to see the test drive, check it out on my channel. And you can make an idea how are the seats right now. This is way, way too much in the back. But the other one is more realistic. Maybe a little bit more in the back for the taller people. But still you have huge, huge space. On my head space, I have more than enough space here even though it's this glass roof here, but I have still space. I can go a little bit more in the front, so I sit really well. It's a little bit tighter here in the middle, but still good. Stretch my hand on the left side and then in the right side as well. So for free people here, no problem. I think even for long trips, you can have free people in the back. In terms of practicality, Skoda Octavia, Skoda Superb, they are perfect. Now, okay, we will go in the front and I will show you the rest of the car. Also, the visibility from, from here on this glass roof, it's more than perfect. I like it very much. We will go in the front, I will continue. There in the front is the, 
the most important part in, on this car and you will be surprised to see uh, what Skoda did with this uh, new Octavia RS. Here we have leather armrest, that's great. Also, uh, the car come with the new wireless uh, gear shifter. Uh, you will see it in the moment and also the latest technology. Uh, this RS steering wheel look just phenomenal. Also the new multimedia system, new cockpit uh, and stuff like that. But let's go in the front. Two things I forget to show you. The engine and I will show you right now. You have an automatic lift gate here in the front. That's really cool. Here is the engine, 2 liter petrol engine, 245 um, horsepower. And then... Another thing that I forget to show you, it is right here in the trunk. Let me go really fast right now. And it is the 12 volt port that it's right here, the socket. I don't want to miss those things out, so I just want to show you. All right, let's go in the front. Uh, also, I want to show you something. You can hear the doors. The doors quality is quite, quite good and I like them very much. Uh, going forward, in the front you have a big window, good visibility there. And this time the door quality is different from the back. Because here the quality is much better. You have soft material on the upper side right here and very nice trim. But all over here it's soft material. Then you have the glossy black plastic. You have the same nice trim. You have an ambient light inside here. I will try to show you a little bit later. Also the handle is super fancy and here you have Alcantara down here, Alcantara leather on the armrest. Then the same interesting nice design here on the plastic. I like very much that the, the, the car manufacturer and I like that the Skoda try to don't make it boring, you know, like before was always boring, just plastic with a little bit of shape. But this time they try to make it different and that's that's a big plus for them and I think Skoda did a great job with this design. The fact that they try to make it different, it's very nice. Also, you have the button to open the trunk right here. Then, by the way, guys, you have these uh, great Canton speakers and the sound in the car, it's also uh, perfect. So you don't have to worry in terms of sound, it's very good. You have some light reflectors and the storage space in the door bands. It's big stuff material here inside. Then you have the buttons, electric adjustable uh, mirrors. Then you can adjust electrically the, the, the mirrors and the windows. And also you can fold it uh, in from here, from the buttons. Entrance in the car, in the front, also big. Down here you have the ARS logo with some chrome design, aluminum here. Uh, it looks good. Aluminum pedals, as I said before, they are great. The pedals are great. The new pedals from Volkswagen Group, they are awesome. Then going forward, uh, electric adjustable seats for the driver right here. Also the lumbar adjustment and also you have the buttons to save the seats position. So that's, that's awesome. Then you have side support here. So on the seats in the front, sporty seats in the front, they are fabric material. They have a nice uh, red stitches and they look super good in my opinion. Um, they look perfect. They are they are perfect seats, perfect combination between the sportiness and comfort. I drive the car and I feel really comfortable on those seats. They are made really, really well. You have the RS logo right there uh, in the middle, so you can make an idea. From, from my point of view, they are very good. The dashboard design, it's also uh, very nice and very good quality right there uh, on the dashboard. And even the steering wheel you will see it in the moment but before that let me show you down here you have a storage space where you can put your phone for example or yeah wherever you want to put it then you have these buttons fog lamps right here that you can turn it on and off from here super super simple so you can see it also on the on the cockpit right there going up check this out behind here it's an led light so you have the ambient light down there and then you have carbon fiber check this out how crazy is that they add carbon fiber on the dashboard you will see it in the moment they add alcantara on the dashboard with the red stitches you have the vents right here um, they feel good they look good with some glossy plastic and in terms of quality it's, it's super awesome then here you have the stick between behind the steering wheel the stick which you can control the 
uh, cruise control and you can set the cruise control from there let me go inside because it start raining now guys going inside here you have a speaker on the a pillar so you can see it there and then the quality here the quality on the roof you have a handle here you have uh, also a mirror with an led light here pretty fancy and it feels really good quality when you touch it um, also up here you have the sos button microphone then you have led lights here and you can see it's kind of a touch screen you put your finger there and you turn it on and off that's also cool then you have here the lights both lights you have the service you have the information and then here it's super fancy i don't know if you can see those buttons there guys i try to show you yes those buttons right there in the middle you can open the the glass roof and check this out all you have to do is just put your finger here and push it like that and then but first time yeah of course here's the start stop button by the way first you have to put the contact otherwise it doesn't work uh, there is the blind spot technology i don't know if you can see it it's right there on the mirror you know the same like Audi and here guys all you have to do is just put your finger here push it like that you just you have a touch screen there and then you can close this glass roof uh, actually you can also open it up from the same button here you push it back you make it back like that and it go back you can open also this glass roof big one I don't want to do that because it's raining but still want to show you a little bit just like that so it's really really cool um, and it's simple to use it and I like the way it's so fancy I think I think Mercedes Porsche doesn't have those amazing amazing buttons here so all you have to do is just put your finger and do it like that or do it like that and then you close it back so how fancy is that how cool is that I think they they kill it with that they kill everybody with that it's so nice also look at the mirror so nice edges tiny edges like a premium cars have uh, the mirror is also in a big way and they did a great job with the mirror visibility around the windows it's more than perfect um, you don't have to worry about the visibility check this out i just want to show you as well so you can make an idea even there in the back guys you can see you don't have any blind spot and skoda make an amazing job with those estate cars such a such a good visibility so uh, yeah i have we have to give it uh, this to skoda you can adjust the armrest here you have plenty of space here of course um, you don't have any usb or something but you have a big space right here also let me put this back then you have here a space for your key electronic handbrake auto hold uh, two cup holders you can also close it the way you want it just like that then going to my favorite part uh, right here on the side we have kind of a plastic but nice design my favorite part is this this part here this all this part here it's one of my favorite part on the car you have the new wireless gear shifter right here and it looks so nice with chrome design it looks premium um, in glossy plastic chrome around it looks so nice you can change the gear so simple just like that and then this is the parking brake how nice is that how cool is that guys you can find it also on the volkswagen golf 8 oh by the way the car come also with the new uh, laura speaking um, and you can speak with with the car as well but i don't know i'm not a big fan of this Please repeat wait a second but maybe maybe we search for sandwich bar nearby okay yeah anyway you have this laura speaker so you can also use it for example navigate okay so it gives you some stuff like here i don't know what he understand from what i'm talking let's try again Hello, Laura. Please repeat. Navigate to Paris. Let's see if it's working. 
please say the address or the line. Okay, number. check this out. It's navigate to Paris. So cool. Okay. Let me finish with that. I'm not a big fan. I think you, you lost a lot of time in all the cars with this speaking stuff. Anyway, here you have a char wireless charging and even my big huge phone you can you can wireless charge it here. You can see my iPhone 10 plus it stay here without any problem and then down there you have also two usb ports usb c ports this is the newest technology so so how cool is that you have it right here and i think the shape and the the way they they design this part here it's super useful the cable come here and then come inside the phone it's super what simple like in other cars it's more complicated so yeah anyway um come on i don't want to do nothing I want to review the car so let's go forward here you have plenty of space also in the glow box and also you have a, a small space up there you have the refrigerate glow box here and you have a light inside there uh, other than that I like the carbon fiber on the dashboard the way they designed the dashboard and the way they put the carbon fiber I think it's super super fancy and super cool you can see it from close up here uh, then also we have the new multimedia system MIB free also the new cockpit uh, from Skoda it's amazing I mean if I buy a Skoda I will have to buy it with these two they are so nice so big you have a huge screen here very good visibility from the driver point of view you can see you have an amazing visibility uh, even in the cockpit even there you can adjust the steering wheel manually from here you can see it's super simple to adjust it uh, in two seconds you adjust it here behind I show you before this stick to for the cruise control then you have the the steering wheel that it's also one of my favorite it's such a good quality you can see the stitches you can see the little little holes there uh, they are awesome then you have this glossy plastic with chrome design insertion uh, RS logo down here it's a sporty steering wheel it's it's really really good uh, also here you have some chrome design they design also these little buttons here so you can have you can have the heated steering wheel that comes with the car this is also awesome in here you can control the sound system and on the right side here you can control different function on the cockpit and they design they re redesign those buttons and they look much better in my opinion much more fancy much more premium this is the word they are much more premium and if i want to show you let me show you also the new cockpit guys i don't know if you see it before i will make a full review with it it's amazing i mean it's such a big cockpit there you have a huge screen with great resolution nice contrast and you can customize it from here the way you want it you just press this button let me show you just press the button and when you press it you change different different type and different views for example right now you have you are in this view right here let me zoom in a little bit just like that then you can change this in sport mode right now you are in sport mode you can see the rotation per minute up there uh, rpm and then change this you can see the classic kind of the classic uh, speedometer to rometer you can see the driving the adaptive cruise control information safety features and here you can see the navigation this is my favorite the navigation one it is my favorite and it's cool that you are able to customize in, in such a ways in my opinion it's 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 super nice I don't know about you also you can change uh, different functions here you can see the adaptive cruise control you can turn it on turn it off the way you want it and I, I don't want to go too much into details with those stuff but still I think it is pretty fancy and also with this navigation right there in the front it's awesome you you have everything you want you have it right there on the cockpit now on the steering wheel you have also those pedals to change the gear manually if you want to drive sporty and yeah those are really useful on this Octavia RS. Then something that I want to show you is that the car comes also with head-up display right there. I want to turn it on for you if I remember well how to do that. I think it's from this button right here lane assist. Front assist is not from here. 
I think I have to go in the menu or maybe it has a button around here it doesn't have any button so I will try to go in the menu in a second we are finished with the steering wheel here by the way it's soft material all over the dash soft material and good quality even here Alcantara you already see it and very well integrated this uh, multimedia system right here even the vents there it's integrated well now here you have also the buttons to to make it uh, louder or make it lighter. then you have the close button here you have a button to close the multimedia system and also the start stop engine button it's here behind uh, the wheels then something that i like very much is that those vents are very well designed down here it's come the air perfectly in the middle and i like those buttons for the driver side of you they are very nice and very easy to set you press those buttons for example here you set you have the star stop system the pressure uh, lost indicator for the tires then uh, you go here to driving assistant and here you can activate and deactivate all the driving system settings like blind spot technology like emergency brake lane assist reading the traffic speed limit and uh, when you're tired alert um, then you can see it on the list if you want to or you can see it on the view like that so how cool is that now set this was the first button if you go to settings here and then you go to the vehicle settings exterior and you can change from here the mirrors the comfort headlamps i will make another video with all those information so if you want to see all the information check it out uh, on my channel i have another video head up display i find it it's right here and you can activate it i don't know right now it doesn't work maybe i have to start the car let me see if i start the car no activate position let me see navigation activate okay right now i just activate it from there i turn it on and you can see also the head-up display is directly on the windscreen i don't know if you can see it i don't know ah, maybe like that come on man focus 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 the camera doesn't want to focus on the head-up display but i tell you it is really good yeah maybe now maybe now maybe now okay 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 good good come 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 on come on come on come on focus focus okay anyway guys doesn't want to focus also i can stop the engine uh there is the blind spot technology you can see it right there okay let's go back there also you have a nice graphic when you when you close the car it show you how much you drive the consumption and all that information about the car let me go back to the buttons here okay close this go to home okay user anyway the second one it's the mode the driving modes you are able to change the driving modes i have to put the contact you are able to change the driving modes guys you just press this button and you go in different driving modes the car come with dcc this is the chassis control so for example when you drive echo the suspension and the car will try to drive echo as possible for example the acceleration will be much more um light slower and also the steering what wheel ah come on and the steering wheel will be more um more um uh, stiffer and also the suspension more stiffer if you go in comfort mode the suspension will be really really comfortable and very very uh soft also the steering wheel much more softer and easy to drive even in the city and you feel really comfortable you can even feel when you change those driving modes you really feel that in this Skoda Octavia RS you want to see the test drive check it out on my channel normal mode and sport mode in sport mode you will hear a sound on the engine amazing sound this engine two liter petrol engine 245 horsepower sound like a beast um, it's really impressive and here it's individual you can set the individual the way you want it you have the assistant here that gets you to the inform you have the reverse camera for example on the assistant and you can change also different views here if you want to see the wait a second i want to show you right now go again here you can see the camera in uh, different ways i don't know how was that wait a second i did it before and now why is not working you have also the park assist the car can help you with parking if you want to here you have the sensors the parking sensors hey right now check this out 
you can change also if you have a trailer or if someone behind you it helps you to see if a car if you want to go reverse it will show you if a car come there so you have to press it like that so that's impressive then you have the lock the blinkers the climatic system you press this one you turn on and off the climatic system the way you want in the front in the back uh, rear you have you can connect the control or even the real uh, it's free um, um, control you have the control for the passenger in the back defrog windows warm my feet warm hands cool my feet fresh air so how cool is that and also you can go in different functions here it's so complex you have the air care that give you this new nice air um, inside the car and it will clean up the air extra and then you have two buttons to extra defrog your windows and those are really helpful while you're driving now here you have a home button you have the menu button here everything it's touch screen it's work like a charm you can see you don't have any lag at all you go for example in the navigation uh, suggestion and yeah anyway let me put uh, for example just make a test like that you press start and it will start the navigation but I want to show you that the navigation doesn't have check this out once it's set it doesn't have so big lag it's just just a little bit but it's work really really good and once you're setting up this navigation it's work like a charm I mean it's work really really good um, you have different settings and different things here you can see the 3d map you have information about construction uh, roads it's connected all the way to the internet to the car and also you have an application that you can use it with the car to warm the car and the, the great stuff is that you can see where is the car and you can set the temperature inside and stuff like that with the application on your phone you have heated seats in the front as well as in the back that's also a great great uh, feature and what can I say this is the navigation let me go back to home this is the home screen here on the home screen you have the possibility to see the the, the um, how much you drive in the last time what was the consumption you can see you can change what was the consumption in the last 2000 kilometer for example um, and how much range you have and stuff like that the settings you have the settings here wait a second you go to the settings you can change the language the time the screen the units uh, Wi-Fi mobile device data connect copyright stuff like that this this was this home screen you can customize the way you want it if you go to the vehicle here you have information about the car as you see it before the status of the car tire pressure the data about the car the consumption for the long terms and stuff like that go to menu here you have all the menu where you can go and you can change uh, different functions different stuff the settings you already see radio telephone you can connect your telephone and that's that's really good um, great option to have the Bluetooth radio media navigation vehicle you already see it background light here you can change the lights inside the brightness of the light you can change it for example on the doors you can customize where you want to see the brightness here 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 and you can have down on your legs you have light you have lights on the dashboard here and you have lights on the doors I will try to show you now the colors for example it's a blue light right now I don't know if you can see it so well I think I have to turn on the lights or yes right now turn on the lights and you can see the ambient light here and also it is on the doors there I think you can make an idea and also on the legs and yeah it's, it's quite quite cool also uh, let me turn off the lights right now you already see it yes right you already see the ambient light now the mood here you can change the mood for example the winter mood it gives you another color you can change the summer mood the ocean mood the race mode and you can change also the screen every time you change those modes you can see it's change also the screen colors uh, the screen color of the the race mode I think it's cool and also the ocean one it's, it's really nice this green and also you change the background color of the of the cockpit it's super complex this multimedia system that's why I will make another video smart link here you have Android 
uh, Apple CarPlay and you can also connect your Android device and smartphones uh, assistant systems you already see it sound system you have a great sound system here Canton sound system it's it's really good I have to tell you you have the focus the volume and stuff like that I don't want to make this video so long and then here you have the settings shop and legal uh, stuff about the car now I think I'm I'm done guys uh, I really really think I'm done and I want to make the conclusion I want to make the end of this video uh, the car it's amazing I mean guys for 50,000 check this out 50,000 dollars 50,000 francs if you are in Switzerland or around Switzerland come here at Amag Solo Tourn Skoda they have such a good price I'm, I'm really impressed about that so you have this by the way the colors it's Corrida Road Rot, Red Corrida Red something like that in English and whew, guys 2 liter TSI DSG so this is the Skoda Octavia Combi RS this is the best family sport car with the best price of course there are other car that are good as well but on this price i don't know man I, I just tell me in the comment if you if you know other car cheaper than this with all this function and and settings that this car have amazing i mean it's just fabulous i love the car 245 horsepower two liter petrol engine amazing comfort great seats great visibility a lot of uh, great this multimedia system it kill it it's one of the best for sure and guys as a conclusion if you want to see the drive test drive with it check out on my channel i have the test drive there you can see a little bit better how is to drive the car how is the feeling but amazing carbon fiber on the dashboard alcantara on the dashboard the, the multimedia system it's it's fantastic it's so complex so nice the cockpit it's great uh yeah what can i say i love the space in the back the visibility and the, the design of the car in the exterior the led lights the lights are gorgeous volkswagen group makes some perfect lights anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the review uh, please comment down below if you have question thank you for watching my videos like it share it also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest car on the market Thank you very much again to all of you that watching my video. If you like the music in the video, check the link in the description. Also, um, I really appreciate that you're watching my videos. I hope it was helpful uh, and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.